right. You can think about me as Sergeant Substitute Teacher Swarski. My name is Sergeant Sergeant Substitute Teacher Swarski. And I uh, recently was appointed this position and uh, elevated into substitute teacher for the detention of this school. Okay? Now you're in detention. Sir, get off your phone. You're going to let the enemy know your position. Oh, no. no this is physics. Yeah, you, say, you say what? Physics. Physics. I will uh, be back. Let's, uh, let's mess with this dude. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. There's gonna be a fire drill today. Mm -hmm. Let's, um, let's, uh, I don't know, convince him it's a lockdown or something. You know, some people just want to watch the world burn. And also, uh, my favorite show's on at 2.30 and I'm hoping to get out of here early. That sounds like a genius plan. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you think you're pretty funny, do you, boys? Okay, first thing is this is detention, okay? Now listen up! What we have here is a bunch of undisciplined students I brought in here to help bring some discipline and structure into their lives. All right, we're gonna get some things straight. You, why are you in detention, by the way? I burnt the school down. The whole thing. Every last brick. I'm in detention because I haven't done homework since grade eight. I don't know exactly how that works. I wasn't really in strategic decision making at the army. Now, why are you in detention? I have a question. Questions are for the weak. We don't have questions, we follow orders. I don't know, man. Like, I saw a teacher and everyone else had like an actual reason of like being there. And I'm like, dude, that's like way better than like why I'm here. So I made up something like that I thought was better but it didn't make any sense. But I have a question. Can I, uh, can I ask who that is and why is he here? We need some proof and documentation of, uh, now my background is I was in the general infantry of the Canadian military forces, but I think unjustifiedly, I was dishonorably discharged for what they said was too much enthusiasm. But getting myself back into the general infantry is important and he's gonna document it, aren't you? Now why are you sitting on the table first off and why are you in detention? I'm meditating. This is, this is how I like to sit on the table. This is how I sit in class. I'm not entirely sure why. I've always just tried to be a nice person, spread love and kindness and I think that's what's most important. I, I shouldn't even be in detention. I haven't done anything wrong, really. I guess it's probably because I've missed so much class. I, I've been out with other people protesting good causes, causes that are important to the world. People need to understand that the bees are endangered. They're, they're, they're gonna be extinct and then what's gonna happen to the food? There's not gonna be anything to pollinate the food and then we'll have no food and then the world's gonna end. And we just, we just need to love more. We need to love the bees more. Oh, oh, ah, uh, oh no, it's a lockdown. Everyone, we're all gonna die. Oh, yeah, oh my God, a, oh my God. Wait, what do you it's mean? Whoa, wait, it's, it's Brian. It's Brian, I never thought he'd do it, but he's gonna do it. It's a lockdown. Oh. It's a lockdown! <laughs> This is perfect. I know exactly what to do in these situations. My training at basic camp, although I only was there for two weeks before being uh, thrown out, once again, I don't think they were justified in doing that, but I am prepared for this. The first thing we need to do is get a blueprint of the facility. So maybe the execution of this plan could have been a little better, but maybe it can still be saved. All right, listen up everybody. Nothing to be worried about. I've been in this situation many times. My training at basic camp, even though it was only two weeks that uh, I was there, but uh, we're not gonna worry about that. I am prepared for this situation exactly. The first thing we need to do, we need to locate a floor plan. Do you guys have a blueprint here? So he is asking for a blueprint, 
but we don't have any blue ink in our printers. What kind of school doesn't provide you with the blueprint of the premises where you know all the safe exits in a situation of a disaster such as this? Maybe, maybe we should all just stay calm. Calm? Calm is how you get killed! Well, I think the best way that this teacher could benefit to become more productive would be doing mountain goat yoga and have all these goats around you climbing up on top of you while you're doing yoga. Maybe go into a sweat lodge, sweat all that negative energy out, really get it out, and it'll, he'll be like a brand new man. It'll be great. We need to find a weapon. I don't know a lot of things about a lot of stuff, but I know a lot of good hiding places here. <laughs> Um, all I know is that we can't go anywhere without being seen if you walk out that door and there's no safe Yep, exit. yep, yep, that's true. We gotta, um, we gotta stay here and uh, so, uh, someone, volunteers only, should go look for Some. the threat. Some. You're right. You know what? You guys are right. Mm -hmm. You're the children of the school. You need to be protected. You're gonna stay in the classroom yes. and I'm gonna neutralize the threat. Good. Good job. I need to find a weapon. Uh, so this plan definitely can't be saved. Um, and all I'm thinking is, how did this man get approved to be a teacher? I think he locked us in. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> So the good news is that he's gone, but the bad news is I'm definitely going to miss Jeopardy tonight.